it's Jebediah Kerman here, at least a 3D printed version of Jebediah Kerman. This, you may have seen, is one of the 3D models you can buy from the Shapeways store. These are actually made from the original game models. They are exactly the same. They've just been rendered into some poses and then printed using a 3D printer. So uh, yeah, you can see it catches all the characteristics of that uh, bravest Kerbinaut of them all. Uh, it's actually pretty impressive because, you know, this is 3D printed, so it can do all sorts of interesting things you can't do with regular models. Uh, like, in, in there, in the, the head is all in there in one piece, right? Normally, if you did this in a mold, you would have multiple pieces and then you'd stick them together because you'd need space. <laughs> like, uh... Underneath the tongue, there is actually a uh, space underneath the tongue. You could not do that easily on a single piece. You would generally have to have two pieces and then glue them together. Similarly, his foot, his toe is resting on that pedal there, but his heel is not actually resting on that pedal. So you have a very thin pedal underneath this. As I said, this is all made in a single pass. Now, if you don't know what 3D printing is, uh, it's basically like regular 2D printing, but you build three-dimensional objects. You submit in an electronic model, and uh, there's a big machine which tries to render in some 3D form. Now, uh, there's some printers that use layers of plastic. They, they build up layer by layer of plastic. There's some that use can do it in a kind of elastic rubber type material. There are others which uh, can build it out of uh, you know, steel or silver. There are some like negative designs where they, they basically etch away at a block until you end up with something left. But this is made using essentially something they call full color sandstone. What it is, I believe the way the machine works is you have a layer of this kind of gypsum powder and then they do two-dimensional layers where they add color and glue. And uh, once they've let that set, they then you blow some more sandstone material over and then they add another layer of, of uh, glue and uh, color. And they do it layer by layer until they make up the whole thing. Now, if you look at this, let's see if there's a place you can see. If you, might, if you look in there just carefully, you might actually see that there's layers being formed there kind of hard but uh yeah this has been built up layer by layer slice by slice i'm not sure if it was done vertically or horizontally i suspect it was made horizontally because that's where i'm seeing the kind of ridges it would actually make a lot of sense to do it that way um but it is a very impressive technology these are they're pretty expensive though they're all built one at a time there's no production line if you were going to mass produce kerbal toys then you would have some toy factory produce plastic parts and then you stick them together and then it would be a lot faster and a lot cheaper because you were mass producing it but the startup cost means that you have to build a mold for every part whereas 3d printing you basically submit an electronic design and uh, out comes at the other end a fully rendered object and you know it's pretty impressive stuff but it's slow and the machines can be very expensive i just saw the new cutting edge machine can print in multiple material types and multiple colors in a single pass and uh, it costs something like three hundred and thirty thousand dollars but i will not be surprised if there are people that use these things so yeah jebediah kerman uh, hero you know stanger man extraordinaire now rendered in um, sandstone and I'm really proud to have that on my desk. Thanks very much to Shapeways for letting me, uh, for giving me this essentially. This is, you know, something that I will treasure. It is just so important. You can also get, um, you can also get Bob and Bill. They're, uh, trying to steer left and right while Jebediah is more or less going straight ahead. You can get the scientist, the engineer, the, the flight crew, the recruit, some of the planets even. You know, there's a bunch of things in the store. They're all, you know, kind of expensive, but, uh, you know, if you want them, that's great. The thing about 3D printing, incidentally, is that they charge you based upon the volume of material used, more or less. Uh, so if you have, you know... Dep it depends on the volume of material, and actually, if, I guess if you look in here, it, up in his mouth, there's actually a cavity that goes inside his head, and I'm guessing that's to save on the amount of material that's used. Sim similarly, like, there's a space under his seat, which makes total sense, but uh, that probably saves a little bit of material here and there, and, 
Yeah, I don't know. It's it's a really fascinating thing to look at, to, to look at how they design these things. And uh, yeah, shapeways.com if you want to look for them. There's a, a lot of them to choose from. This one is uh, one of the larger ones. There's smaller ones that are slightly cheaper. As I said, they're charged based on volume. They do, if you want your own designs made, you can get it made out of plastics. You can get it made out of uh, steel, silver, brass, gold-plated brass. And uh, yeah, it, oh, and ceramics as well. So you can make you know, custom-designed mugs if you really want. Anyway, uh, if you're interested, as I said, go buy it. I'm Scott Manley. Fly safe.